Hello everyone, Man of Interest here for This Week in Keyboards, your weekly keyboard news show. In this week, there is a lot of GMK, both on the interest check side as well as the group buy side. There are a few keyboards to cover as well, which will be interesting to look at. It's mostly all about the GMK news this week though, since it is the beginning of the month, so the usual suspects are at it again, launching new group buys. Before we dive into the news, I'd like to give a shout out to the sponsor of this episode, NovelKeys.xyz. Currently on NovelKeys, you can join the group buy for GMK VOC, a beautiful set designed by Heinebush, inspired by the original SA VOC set by 7-bit. If you're shopping for any of the switches on NovelKeys, you can use my promo code for 5% off your orders this month. The promo code for this month is August MOI. Great if you want to get any of the switches they've just stocked up on, just like the new colored Gatoron ink switches. The link is in the description down below. Now let's get to some keyboard news. Yeah. Time to blast into the news, and I really mean blast into the news because we have a lot to, oh my goodness, so much to talk about. Okay, let's, real quick, speed round. First off, colored Gatoron ink switches. As I mentioned earlier, Gatoron has expanded their ink switch line to more than just ink blacks and ink silent blacks. Now they have red, blue, and yellow inks joining the fray. The new red inks are linear like the black inks, but with a much lighter spring, actuate at around 45 grams and bottom out at 60 grams. Essentially, a better Gatoron red. Next up is the Gatoron Yellow Switches, Yellow Ink Switches, which are also linear, but they have a shorter travel distance, actuate at approximately 60 grams, bottom out at approximately 67. You can think of them as the speed switch of the ink line. Lastly, the Gatoron Blue Inks, which is a, it's a bit of an odd duck in this lineup. Their actuation and bottom out match the Gatoron Black Ink Switches, but it's a clicky switch, and it's it's odd. As far as I know, ink switches haven't made their way to OEMs, and I don't think many enthusiasts are buying click jacket clicky switches, so who are these for? Ah. Regardless, I think people who've been happy with Gatoron ink switches will find the red and yellow switches a nice addition to the new lineup. Let's transition to some GMK sets in their interest check phase because we have a good deal of topics, uh, rapid fire. First, we'll be starting with GMK Polar by Jermaine, which reminds me of a more pastel GMK Cyan. Definitely has that cool polar feel to it. The next steps moving forward for this set will be finding vendors, finalizing kits, and looking for some more collabs and getting us some more sweet, sweet renders. This set definitely has that really cold feel going for it and I'm a bit worried about the legends. I hope they don't get too lost in the alphas, although I think overall it'll work out. Hmm. Getting lost in the snow would be quite polar though, like the alphas. Legends might be lost in the alphas. Next up we have Jim K Blink by Jebra. The name Blink comes from the combination of black and pink, so obviously this is a set with a strong pink and black. Since Blink is also the fan name for the K-pop group Blackpink, the set has Hangul sub-legends on it. The kit layout is straightforward and I think it makes sense for most people, although some could argue that there are a few extraneous keys in that base kit that could otherwise be moved to the side. Novelties are in the process of being made or thought up. Um, there's an assembly kit, although the OP doesn't have the highest confidence it's going to make MOQ and I wouldn't either. I think with the resurgence of pink due to the popularity of SA Bliss, GMK Olivia, and the new T's for GMK Olivia Plus Plus, is blink, the, blink, is pink the new black now? I don't know. It'll probably do well once all the details are finalized. People like pink. Up next by King Nesty is GMK Camping in Japan. It's GMK Camping, but with Hiragana Sublegends. GMK Camping did amazing, so it's still a pretty sought after set. It's nice that there's gonna be another round sooner than later, although not everyone will be on board with the Sublegends. I'm interested to see what kind of novelties we'll get this time around, since they're gonna be a separate kit that might be more Japanese influenced based on the current direction of the set, Camping in Japan. Maybe a Mount Fuji novelty? I don't know. I don't know if I need another GMK camping set, but hey, maybe you can have too much of a good thing. The last GMK I see we'll be covering today will be GMK Ogre by Control Shift Bad. 
Control Shift B A. Either one. If I've learned anything from DreamWorks Animation's 2001 film Shrek, ogres are like onions, and they have layers. While our green protagonist probably isn't the inspiration for this set, they're both green, and I just wanted to mention Shrek in this video. I won't play All Star because they'll probably be copyright claimed. This set isn't really resonating with me like ogres, but maybe it will with you? I'm not sure what that red accent is doing there. It looks really out of place compared to the rest of the set. At least in the current render, I'm I'm not buying it so far. Okay, let's take a quick break from GMK to cover some keyboards. Starting off, we have the BB-80 by Geekmaker. Geekmaker is known for their creamy switch line, which is a line of linears. And it looks like now they have a keyboard for us. The BB-80 has a few interesting design features. The plate is integrated to the top. It's four millimeters thick for a stable and uniform touch. Based off the pictures, it does look like it'll be using plate mounted stabilizers, a bit different from the norm in our community, which is PCB mounts. The typing angle will be five degrees, which isn't terribly steep, it's pretty comfortable for most people. All the edges on, this, on the top are smooth as they are curved as they drop down to the sides. I think a lot of people are gonna like that look. Lastly, the badge is customizable. They're magnetic and easy to swap out. Interestingly, underneath the badge, there's a space for a stabilized 2.25U key, as well as RGB LEDs if that's what you're into. Weird, weird size, 2.25U. Color options, red, gray, white, and black. The keyboard will feature a QMK PCB, a Type-C port, and it will ship in an aluminum case. The group I will start on the 15th of this month with delivery only taking two weeks, two weeks for the first 100 participants and two months for the 100 after that. That's really quick turnaround time. My guess is they're already being produced as I speak right now. The red, gray, and black kits will only cost 169 and the white will cost 220. That's really competitive. This is directly competing against the KBD Fans 8X, which sits pretty at 225. The price for this board is, well, it's kind of amazing and almost makes me think, so what's the catch? Our next two boards that were icy this week were from iQnix. First, let's go over the Note 80. This board will feature a seven degree typing angle, be made from 6063 aluminum, USB-C port, comes with a PCB and PBT keycaps. PBT keycaps, interesting. Also, this case doesn't look too bad. The side design is interesting with that bottom side lip and that little design is pretty cute. I really wish we had more details about this board. Is this really the same company that designed that Lambo 60% case that was so bad? Wow, they've evolved quite a bit since then. And speaking of evolved, the other keyboard they I see this week is also quite the interesting one. The Curve 87 at a 7 degree typing angle and of course being made of aluminum as well. The overall design of this keyboard certainly has curves and a certain feel. It has pretty bold design I think. It looks decent on the bottom with the feet on the sides and the black screws contrasting the bottom. Not sure how I feel about that accent below the left modifier keys though. And while not everyone likes badges or branding above the arrow keys, I do appreciate it does fit in with the theme of this board. Like the Note 80, this board will come with keycaps. The most interesting part to look at will probably be the back of the keyboard with that centered USB port. It looks like the top and bottom are curved and they just fit together. And then they have a plate that's kind of bolted onto the back for that accent. I don't mind the look, but I absolutely hate, hate the branding of the iQnix and Curve 87 on the back. Like, come on, you already have that on the bottom for the branding. You're done. And you have one on the top above the arrow keys. You're done. Don't do that to us. Don't do us dirty like this. Okay, our last keyboard I like to talk about this week is far from something dirty. It's clean and it's elegant. It's the Ivy by Keeb. This three key macro pad is currently on pre-order right now. Those smooth curved sides look absolutely beautiful. So depending on the finish, the price will be either a $89 or $119, which does make it pretty pricey. But hey, it's solid brass and it's powder coated. Hmm. Of course, programmed via QMK, a little nice addition. Every, each one will be coming with um, Holy Panda switches and DSA keycaps. So it's kind of a one and done kind of purchase. The only other downer is the expected ship time five months out, which will feel like forever. But I think if you join it on the Ivy, 
your patience will be rewarded. Okay, it's time to go back to GMK sets. You know it. Well, but this time, this time, all the ones I'm going to be covering are currently running as a group buy right meow. So, they're buyable. From the top, we have GMK8008 that was designed by Dixie Mech, who's also running the group buy. If you don't already know the story, GMK8008 was inspired by a sports brawl that Dixie Mech spotted while out and about and knew he had to design a set based off its colors. The pink is extremely loud compared to the rest of the set, which creates a really nice contrast. The set is about that contrast, that empowered neon pink. A little nifty thing you know, you know, a lot of people get brass keycaps from ramen to match their sets, nice little accent, people use escapee, yada yada, yay yay. Well, since this set is inspired by a sports bra, Dixie Mech is getting silicone caps from Rama instead. They'll be nice and mushy under your fingers, but oh, I'm sure they'll look great with the set. Go check the set out at Dixie Mech for $130. And you know what? Consider using my affiliate link down below, DixieMech.com slash man of interests. Yeah. Next up, over at Novel Keys is GMK VOC, also known as Violet on Cream. This set was inspired by the classic SA VOC colorway by 7-Bit, and I think this set will be pretty fine and pretty nice as a GMK set. You may not think of Violet as a Christmas color, but it'll be shipping around then, so it could make for a nice gift. One little bit of thing I like is that purple alpha skit. Going all purple can lead to some fun looking keyboards. It's also a great way for people who missed out on GMK Phantom and want to get in on the all purple kind of feel. If I ended up getting this, I'd probably have to get the purple alphas. Like, I'm pretty sure that's how I'd rock it if I'm going to get the set. Base kit will be running at a modest 115, which isn't too bad. I think it's the cheapest one this month. The only kicker is that if you're wanting to add that purple alphas, that's gonna run you another $70. Yeah, sometimes there's a cost to looking good. Canon keys, they're a vendor we're seeing a lot more on this channel recently, which hopefully means things are going great for them. I really hope they are. They're running Jim K Voyage this month. Jim K Voyage was designed by NASP with a blue inspired by the colors of our solar system's two furthest planets, Uranus and Neptune Rip Pluto. We have some cold icy blues paired with a nice dark blue to complete that look. The base scale will be running for $123.99 with an estimated delivery of January 2020. Not too bad. I actually kind of like the icy cool of this set with that strong blue. I'm honestly not sure what I'd pair it with in terms of the keyboard, but eh, not, not too shabby in overall looks. If you're blue because you're missing out on some blue in your life, GMK Voyage might be a good set for you. Our next set also kind of takes the idea of utilizing a bright neon color. GMK Night Runner is currently running on the key.co. Designed by Blind Assassin 111, this set definitely has a night running kind of feel. The black streets, the yellow lights whizzing by, the dark blue of the sky getting brighter as sunrise catches up to you. This is another one of those, I like it, but what do I put it on? I really like the novelties, novelties of this set as well. I think overall, this is a pretty cool looking set. I don't know if it'll push me to the edge of buying, but eh, the base hit's gonna cost you $139. You can grab it over on the key company. Last in the news is not a, uh, it's not a GMK set. I know, um, surprise. It's uh, running over on drop MT3 Serica, designed by Zamumon. He's one of the most popular designers right now, and he's taken one of his most popular designs and translated it over to the MT3 profile. Samuelon did a great job with the colors for GMK Serica, so I trust he'll be reviewing each batch of samples thoroughly to make sure he gets the colors he desires for this set. There's some interesting notes about this. You might have noticed the legends look a bit different from other MT3 legends. That's because Zemwan worked on this font himself to have the legends he'd want on this profile. Legends don't always transfer well from one profile to another due to the curvature of the cap being different, whether it's spherical or cylindrical. So he decided to design a font for MT3 he could use. In addition, I'm really happy about is the Super Homing Accent Kit. This is directly inspired by Topra High Pro, and as someone who loves Topra High Pro, A plus kit. Normal Topra High Pro has six homing keys 
instead of your normal two. Zamamon went there and beyond by giving us eight homing keys, a nice little scoop for each of your fingers to rest in. So, to subvert the controversy of GMK Serica, there will be two alpha kits, a Latin kit and a Katakana kit. The Katakana kit has sublegends based on an Olivetti Letter of 32, and the placement of the sublegends is inspired by the Apple AEKs that have sublegends. I really like Serica. I really like MT3. This is home run for Mr. Huey. That's it in the news, but I do have one exciting announcement. The Northern California Mechanical Keyboard Meetup. If you don't know, I organized the last um, three, four Northern California Mechanical Keyboard Meetups, NorCal Meetups, and now it's time for another one. The date is set. Saturday, November 9th, 2019, save the date. Due to a good relation and pricing with our last venue, our current plan is to have it there again, but with more tables and having more space be more efficiently organized. That's a lot of mores. While that's the current plan, it hasn't been nailed down. So if anyone does have any other suggestions, I'd love to hear them for venue spaces. I just wanted to make sure that no matter what, we'd have a fun place for a meetup and a meetup would be happening. Down below in the description will be links to the official posts that I'll be making on Keep Talk, Geek Hack, and Reddit. They should be up by the time this video goes up, but if not, they'll be up later in the day. I hope you can all make it because it'll be one hell of a time. If you're interested in sponsoring the event or volunteering, you are welcome to reach out to me on Discord. Thank you everyone so much for watching this week. It was quite a bit of news and yeah, wowee. Consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell if you haven't had the chance. This week is going to be exciting for content. I actually have another couple of videos already queued up, ready to release this week. Yay. Hope you guys stay tuned for more content and I have a Patreon if you guys want to support me. I also stream on Mondays and Tuesdays now, I guess, is my new day. So, see you guys then. Peace.